It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious June weekend? Morning, Rye. If I'm doing well, if I was doing any better, I'd be one of my children. I'll tell you what, <laughs> the path is paved with gold when you're a son of Bob Payne. <laughs> we have a few of bricks on the way, would you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about customization. You know, too many retirement and investment plans are cookie cuttered. Bob and I are going to discuss why it's so important to make sure your plan is customized towards your needs. We're going to talk about age and wisdom. Let's face it. We're not getting any younger. And our attitude about money is changing as well. Bob and I are going to discuss some of the different perspectives you're going to have about money and wealth as you move along in years. And we're going to talk about this week's financial pornography. There's a lot of stuff out there in the financial media, a lot of egregious stuff that Bob and I are going to point out to protect you and your finances. And we have our spotlight segment where we're going to talk about a real retirement plan, break down some of the different mistakes a couple is making with their planning and investing so you can avoid the same mistakes, get you on the right path to financial freedom. So let's hop to it. Let's talk about how important customization is to your retirement planning. And Bob, when I think about you know our industry in general, there's a lot of one-size-fits-all approach hmm. type of strategies. And when we really want to get customized, you know, where do you start, Bob, to, to build a customized financial plan? Well, the first thing you don't do, Ry, is you, you work with a salesman who's going to sell you an annuity or sell you a, a life insurance policy. You don't want a product sale, right? You want to have a plan. So the first thing you have to do is figure out when are you going to retire? Right. Yeah. It's a simple baseline. It's like if you're not retired yet, you want to start to put that number down. But what if... I think I'm going to work forever, Bob. You know, we ha we have a lot of clients like this that just they love to work. Oh, they're never going to retire. So why do I need to pick an age to retire at? And that's a problem because you know what? Sometimes you can't. And you know, I'm not saying that's not because the interest isn't there or the ability or the energy. It's because maybe your company gets downsized. It gets sold out from underneath you. Now let's face it, right? If we worked for a big corporation like we did once, if not they anymore. decide to sell the company and downsize the employees, who are they going to keep? The 40-year-old or the old 65-year-old dog like me? Well, I don't know about with your charm and charisma. They might just take you over me, but <laughs> for, for you know, rule of thumb, I might we'll probably... be able to make a convincing argument, but the fact of the matter is, you know, <laughs> when it comes to big companies, they're, it's the bottom line. And my health insurance would cost more than your health insurance. And, you know, the chances of them being able to groom me for another position is less likely then I'm going to retire a lot sooner than you at 40. So, you know, yeah. fact of the matter is they're going to get rid of me. Right. And there's a lot out of your control is the bottom line, whether they downsize, if you have a health issue, because that could happen. Oh. I had one of my relationships recently had a stroke and was forced to retire and didn't mm -hmm. want to retire at all. Wanted to keep going forever. The other thing too is I always say is just have a number so that you can work because you want to work, not because you have to. I mean, what a difference to go to work every day because it's on your terms, not because you need a paycheck. And I call that picking the age of financial independence, right? As opposed to quote unquote oh, like retirement. That. And I think that's really where a lot of us are now. It's about having financial independence as opposed to our traditional retirement. Yeah. It's just not independence from money. It's independence from your employer. I mean, that's a, that's a brilliant idea and that's exactly what you should want. Yeah. Know your financial independence number, not your retirement age, which I think that fits very well for us baby boomers who uh, <laughs> don't ever want to think of ourselves as getting older. <laughs> but yeah, I digress. I just looked up my number. I'm there. So um, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're irreplaceable, Bob. We can't get rid of you uh, right. even if we wanted to. The other thing is, okay, so you know the number, you know when you want to retire. The next thing you need to know in your baseline is what income are you going to need? And we talk about this a lot, Bob. What is that income gap? Because if you stop working, you don't have that income coming anymore. You need to replace it. Yeah, I, I find this all the time. 
you think that uh, I'm not going to go see the doctor. I'm not getting a physical because I might find out I'm sick. Same token, I don't want to have a financial plan put together. I might find out I didn't save enough. Right. And that's the worst feeling in the world to know that you have a retirement shortfall. But I'd say a lot of times you're probably better off than you think. You just need to kind of face the music and look at how do you build an income stream in retirement. And that's exactly why we run a lot of the numbers that we do. Well, Rye, I'm going to let you in on a dirty little secret. Bob, that, enlighten me. Yeah. I love dirty little secrets. You've saved more and you're on track better than you think. And you're taking way more risk than necessary to achieve those goals. So yeah. it's time to stop procrastinating and get in front of a fiduciary and run the numbers. They're not that bad. Yeah, that's the actual real gist of it is, is probably you probably do have enough money to retire. The problem is not that you have the money, is you're probably taking too much risk. And the problem with that is if we get another market downturn like we did back in 2008, all of a sudden overnight, you can see your portfolio evaporate or go down by 40, 50%, then it's too late. So if you start to look at now solidifying that retirement plan and building a portfolio that's built for what we would call retirement or wealth distribution versus having a, an all-out wealth accumulation or growth portfolio, that's probably really the issue. Not if you can retire or not retire, but having the right portfolio well, in place. I mean, that's absolutely the biggest benefit of a financial plan. You get to know what you own, and now you realize why you own it. And it really crystallizes the risk you're taking, the volatility. And what you'll find is you can have a less volatile portfolio, a more certain income stream. And here's the biggest benefit, Rye. You don't need Ambien to get to sleep at night. You'll be able to sleep like a baby because you'll have peace of mind. So there you go. No drugs to sleep. <laughs> That's a nope, plus. No Ambien. I'll put that in the plus <laughs> checkbox. No narcotics to get yourself to sleep at night. Yeah, and that's that's really it. I mean, the another dirty little secret, Bob, of our industry is you can take a lot less risk and end up getting the returns that you need, whereas you end up taking a lot more risk and end up getting less return that you need for retirement. I mean, it's it's kind of perverse, but that's essentially how we invest our money. And there's so many easier, safer ways to do it. Well, yeah. And plus, it's got to be tax advantageous, right? I mean, you can reach for yield. You give someone who's outperforming the market, which doesn't happen, but some people think they can and they end up taking more risk, but they also are not saving enough. So sometimes not putting your dollars in the right place, you know, not funding that 401k, not taking advantage of the match, not using a Roth, right? All these little things add up. And if you do it properly, you can do it with a lot more success and a lot more consistency. That's right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I don't really have a game plan. I'm winging it. I want a customized plan that factors in when I want to be financially independent, factors in I want to take less risk. I want to only take the risk that I have to. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that gives you a full customized plan. All you need to do is bring in your statements, throw them in a folder, brown paper bag, make it easy on yourself. If you bring it into us, we'll take all of that We'll load it up into one personalized, customized portal for you so we can view everything at a bird's eye view. And we're going to look at the most important components to your portfolio. Number one, income. What is your income gap? Can we increase or optimize the income on your portfolio so you're not reliant on the fluctuations of the market? We're going to look at diversification. What unnecessary risk do you have in your portfolio? Are you protected against the next downturn? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs, a lot of salesmen out there that sell you product. What hidden costs can we help you reduce so you have a low-cost portfolio for retirement? Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for now over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is take the next step by calling us or texting 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. 
I'm with my son, Ry Payne. We're the pains of no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer and Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. The global markets this week continued to be a market at the mercy of the noise from the news headlines. As Yogi Berra so famously said, it's like deja vu all over again. Just when we were feeling comfortable about the situation in Italy, now popularly known as Quitaly, an event where Italy proposed to leave the euro. The Trump administration placed tariffs on steel and aluminum, prompting retaliatory threats from Canada, Mexico, and the European Union. And of course, we still have China threatening their own tariffs. Many believe it's all a negotiating tactic, but the market seems to be having a hard time making up its mind. My guess when it comes to geopolitical risk, as again, has Yogi again famously said, it's not over till it's over. On a more positive front, the U.S. economy continues to show strength, adding 223,000 new jobs in May. Now, that's up from 164,000 in the month of April, while the unemployment rate stands at 3.8%. That's the lowest level since 2008. Average hourly earnings, as predicted, grew at 2.7% year over year. For the month and for the year, growth stocks in the U.S. continue to outpace all other asset classes, especially value stocks, with small company growth stocks up over 8% year-to-date, almost double their mid- and large company counterparts. In general, as we enter a new month, U.S. stocks are now outperforming non-U.S. stocks, and commodities for the first time in years, is outperforming the Dow and the S&P 500. And what may be a short-term flight to quality, interest rates declined and all bonds rallied on the week. So when you put it all together, most portfolios are treading water, either up or down 1% for the year. But there's still a long way to go to year end. And most years, the market returns in the double digits. Of course, that's both positive and negative. Although we are in the 10th year of a big, booming bull market, keep in mind, double-digit returns are not the outlier. They're the norm. So as I say, and maybe Yogi should have, you have to be in it to win it. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 752 Six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Now back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. Financial Radio, and Bob and I are simple men, so we always want to keep it simple for you. Give you just practical, common sense advice you can use for your retirement planning and investing, and that's why we put together our latest video series: What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple baseline just to help you get started with the financial planning process, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, BULLISH, to 555-888. Just text the word BULLISH to 555-888. You can get our newest online series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. You can download it for free. It's easy, accessible, get you started on the retirement planning process. Text the word BULLISH. To 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment, we want to talk about age and wisdom. You know, there's an old quote that says, age is the price of wisdom. So let's talk about, Bob, how that applies to the financial world. And I'm sure you see this all the time with clients you've worked with for now. I mean, in some cases, four decades. So Bob, how do you see your clients changing their perspectives about what money and wealth mean as you know, really as they get older. The fact of the matter is, Ry, as you get older, you do become wiser. And it's simply because you've tried different things and they either worked or they didn't. And the, the greatest thing about working with us, we made a lot of mistakes that uh, our clients are never going to make again because we've seen them or we've seen us make those mistakes over 40 years. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can think about all the uh, experiments we could call my bane with my money <laughs> and the scars I have on my back. You're right. We have, we have made a lot of the errors. And it's funny, you always say, Bobby, on markets, 
they don't do exactly the same thing, but they tend to rhyme over time. You know, they're, they're similar. So a lot of times we can already foresee a lot of the things that are going to happen and the mistakes people are going to make. Well, Sir John Templeton summed it up, right? The four most dangerous words are it's different this time. So you do have the past, you know, to look at, but it doesn't exactly rhyme, as you say. But it does give you guidelines on, you know, how to take risk properly and uh, how to secure your financial future. Yeah, exactly right. And I think, you know, looking back retrospectively, some of the mistakes that some of our clients have made and, and some of the mistakes we have made, I think are number one is probably, you know, taking too much risk, right? I mean, I said this in the earlier segment, though, one of the secrets of investing is you can actually take less risk and do better over time, where most of us, we take too much risk. And, you know, the stakes get higher and higher because, again, we're a decade past 2008. So that means you're 10 years older than when the last market correction happened, which means now maybe you're retired or you're closer to retirement. You can't afford the same type of risk. And it's kind of like you don't want history to repeat itself. You've got to make those smart, proactive moves. And that's really changing your portfolio at the times. Well, that's how we change, right? I mean, if you go back to my early days at, at Merrill Lynch, you know, you had the investment bankers on one side and you had the private client advisors on the other side. And my job was basically to go out and find clients to sell the products that these guys made up. And, you know, that revolutionary idea I came up with was to stop going to the office, start meeting with people, find out what their needs were, and then go back to Merrill Lynch and say, here's what I need to help my clients achieve their goals, as opposed to selling a one product fits all, product of the week or product of the month. Didn't make them a bad firm. It's just the way it was done. Well, the problem is that still exists. <laughs> I mean, I hate to hate, to <laughs> well, hate on the industry. But you know, if you look at what your portfolio is, how it's been built, a lot of time it's a collection of ideas or products we like to say, and the stakes are getting higher, right? You know, not having that plan in place becomes more detrimental. Again, as time moves on, and talking about age and wisdom, there's got to be a point where you go from what we call wealth accumulation portfolio, where it's growth, growth, growth. I don't care if I'm being sold products. If it goes down, I'll make it up to what we call wealth distribution, where you need a reliable income stream. And that's really one of the key, key determiners of success in retirement. The other thing is, Bob, too, we find is as we're getting older and we're getting into retirement, we start thinking about a legacy for our heirs, right? Before it was all about getting to your retirement and living comfortably. Then you start thinking about leaving something for the kids, so the grandkids. And that becomes more important in the plan that you're putting together and, and you know how you transfer that wealth to the next generation. Well, that's just uh, what you just talked about, right? Customization is king. You know, Everybody's different. You know, Not everybody's going to be able to leave a legacy. And I think the biggest mistake you can make is letting the legacy affect you know your investment strategy because you may run out of money you know worrying about your children or grandchildren you can't do that i mean it's got to be part of the big picture and you know sorry to say right but i'm going to focus on mom's retirement before i focus on your legacy i'm a little perturbed right now bob <laughs> that hurts well, i just don't want to spoil you son you know so you're I uh, to... you turned out pretty good so far i don't want to mess it up <laughs> i was hoping for a life of luxury and uh you know <laughs> low stress so this is this is news to me but no you're right you're right in all, all kidding aside I think we see that a lot of the times is it might sound provocative to say this, but you know, put everyone else on the back burner. At some point, you got to figure out what's going to keep you and your spouse solvent through retirement. And then you can look at legacy planning. Then you can look at if you're going to gift for the grandkids college every year and things like that. But you want to, number one, make sure that your retirement secured before you start looking at some of those other other goals that you may have in retirement financially. Yeah, and that's what we see as a multi-generational firm. We're working with our clients over multi-generations. I mean, a lot of the clients that I started with back in the 70s are now working with their grandchildren. And, and the thing is, some of our clients have had enormous success, they're very wealthy, and we're spending a lot of time educating their children and grandchildren you know, about this wealth that's coming their way because they don't know how to handle it. Yeah, we're just getting them on track for planning as well because the other thing we're finding now, we used to joke about the millennial generation not saving, you know, living at home, but now they're starting to create some wealth too, and they also need guidance as well. So, you know, the other thing is just making sure that they're not making the mistakes that you may have made with not starting early enough and getting a, a game plan started, but just making sure that your heirs maybe are talking to a financial professional. They are maxing out the 401k, doing all the things that you wish you would have done because let's face it now, millennials are starting to make money and you know they could deem to make the same mistakes so they can avoid a lot of the mistakes that, that you made by just being educated. Yeah. And that's the whole point of education. It's, it's not about trying to outperform or pick winning investments. It's about you know behavior change, making sure that you save enough money. I mean, actually saving properly in a tax efficient way is going to have a bigger impact on your return 
than trying to outperform, you know, 500 random stocks in the S&P 500. And if you're thinking, you know, my family needs multi-generational advice, or I just need some advice, what we'd like to offer, if you're one of the next few callers and you've saved at least $200,000 for retirement, my son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, but you have to be one of the next few callers. And if you are, here's exactly what you can expect. We're going to review your tax return to make sure that it's in line with the upcoming changes in the tax law. We want to look at your legal documents, you know, dust off that will, pull out those trusts, look at those beneficiary forms. You know, you certainly don't want to see your IRA going to someone other than the person you intended it to. Let's bring them in. Let's review them. Let's make sure your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. Most importantly, let's do a complete portfolio review. We'll do a full 360 holistic review of your portfolio. And all you have to do is take the statements that are coming in this week, throw them in a shopping bag, make an appointment. We'll even open the statements for you. We'll put it all together into one simple investment analysis spreadsheet, which will analyze your portfolio for the three key elements of success, diversification, fees, and income. So many people don't know what they own and don't understand why they own it. Let's make sure you do. Let's look at the cost. You know, if you can reduce the cost of investing, you can increase the returns over your lifetime. And lastly, we always talk about the income gap. Is your income gap being full? Do you have a portfolio that's going to generate an income you can't outlive? And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized 360 financial portal. And we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to 43 years. Yes, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a holistic review if you have over 200000 saved for retirement. Call us or text us now at 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Now's the time to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track. Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Big Bob, what'd you find there this week in the horrid, profane world of financial pornography? Well, first of all, I've got a question for you, Rye. Do you remember who was bond manager of the year a few years ago? Yeah, it was Bill Gross who was like, any financial publication you read, Bill Gross was basically God <laughs> for all intents and purposes. He was like the greatest wow. bond manager of all time. Well, he had his biggest one-day loss since he started his new fund this week. Wow. How much was he down? He's down about 6% year-to-date, and he's wow. trailing about 96% of anybody else who manages bonds for a living. You know, when you're on top for so long, eventually you uh, are taken from your throne, I guess is the bottom line here. (laughs) Well, it just goes to show you when you own a bond fund, even if you're with the bond king, you don't know what you own. You don't know what's in there. And, you know, the big problem this week is we had a big drop in bonds in Italy. The 10-year government bond in Italy dropped dramatically. In other words, their rates went up and their price went down. But that's not where he lost the money. Where did he lose the money then? Because, I mean, Italy, you're right, was the one place that, that bond prices uh, plummeted. He made a big bet with his client's money that the German bond would go down. And guess what? The German bond went up pretty dramatically. Wow. So, And this is the thing, Bob. I mean, you go into a portfolio of bonds. I know in my mind, I think safety, not that someone is making big bets on an international market, or something exotic. And I think that's the problem with a lot of these bond funds. To your point is you think you're buying something safe and all of a sudden you're taking on the same risk you would be taking, you know, essentially being in the stock market. Yeah. Well, right now, right, we can own and we do own 3% CDs, you know, CDs that yield 3% or municipal bonds that yield 3%. Last thing I need is bond legend Bill Gross losing me 3% in one day. 
Yeah, exactly right. I mean, that's not that's <laughs> not in the game plan of, of your safe money. And it also reminds us too, Bob, that at the end of the day, statistically speaking, this is why we don't like a lot of the professionally managed mutual funds, is professional managers eventually underperform just owning the underlying market. And that's why we've always been an advocate of owning indexes versus professional managers because you pay more and you end up with less return, which where I come from, that's a really bad deal. Yeah. And when those, uh, when those investors get their statement this week, they're going to see that they lost 3% for the month, 6% for the year. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to sell out of that bond fund. Yeah. So then he's going to be stuck with you know lots of redemptions and then have to sell some of these bad ideas into an even more weakening market. And of course, the other bond managers can sit there and take advantage of them. Yeah, exactly right. And this is also a good reminder, all of us who own bond funds right now, probably a good time just to take a look at those bond funds and maybe a good time to get out. Because again, there's a lot of exotic strategies and low quality bonds in these portfolios that you don't even know you own. So, Well, here's what I like about high quality bonds. You know what you're going to get paid and you know when you're going to get your money back because it's not the return on your money. It's the return of your money, right? <laughs> the return of your money is absolutely critical. Write that down right now. <laughs> That's Bob Payne said it first. So, Bob, in another realm of financial pornography this week, mm -hmm. I found an article talking about how our, I guess, alma mater, you could say, we're alumnus of Merrill Lynch. Merrill Lynch brokers face compensation clawbacks. And Merrill Lynch right now is owned by Bank of America, if you didn't know. And Bank of America has unveiled a new compensation program that punishes advisors who don't meet certain sales targets that include funneling more clients into retail bank products. Such as oh my mortgages. Goodness, are you telling me there's an institution that's not putting the investor first? No. I know it's hard to believe, but they're actually going to maybe disincentivize their advisors from not selling more of their own bank products as opposed to, you know, being unbiased in their advice, which to me, Bob, that's kind of a conflict of interest. Well, that's always been the case with big firms on Wall Street. Their number one focus isn't on the client. You know, I mean, they used to say at Merrill Lynch, the client interest comes first. But you know what really comes first is the stock's performance. And that's crystal clear because all the managers, all the people who are in charge of making these decisions are compensated by the stock. And they want to see the stock go up. So they don't want to see your portfolio go up necessarily. They want to see their portfolio go up. <laughs> and unfortunately, it comes at the investor's expense. I mean, yeah. boy, you, know, you would think, right, these big banks, I mean, they don't understand the optics of what they do. I mean, Wells Fargo, every week, something else. You know, this is just so horrible. If I'm sitting there as a Merrill Lynch or a Bank of America client, I'm going to look for transferring my account somewhere else. Yeah. So, I mean, what you're saying here, Bob, is better to be a shareholder of Bank of America as opposed to a client of Bank of America. That makes sense. And you're right. In, in this day and age of Wells Fargo just had their hands slapped with, you know, seriously, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines for pushing clients into products that they didn't want. And now you have Bank of America coming out and basically saying, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to incentivize our advisors to push people into our other products. I mean, it's kind of crazy. You would think in light of already the scandals that have happened recently, this would be the exact opposite of what you would be doing to incentivize your advisors. And I think it also just reminds you that when you're, you're looking to work with an advisor of some sort, it's so critical to work with someone who is a fiduciary, you know, that has no ties to any specific bank or any specific product where you're getting independent advice. So it's, it's one of the things you want to make sure when you talk to your advisor, ask them point blank, are they a fiduciary or are they not a fiduciary? Because as a fiduciary, you have to act in your best interest, but not every single financial advisor, quote unquote, has that title. And if you're thinking mm -hmm. to yourself right now, I need unbiased advice. I may have a lot of products on my portfolio that I was sold, not necessarily own them for my retirement goals. Here's your shot to get an unbiased, completely independent view of your portfolio. If you're one of the next 10 callers, we have a couple slots left, and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full, holistic, independent review that looks at everything. If you just bring in all your statements, 
We'll make it easy on you. Just put them all into a folder. When they come in this month, bring them in. We'll go through all of them for you. We'll build you your own personalized portal so we can see everything in one place. And we'll look at everything from a bird's eye view and all the critical components. You know, We'll look at income. You know, income is so critical for retirement. Are you going to have enough income in retirement to live comfortably? We're going to show you to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. Do you have proper diversification? Do you have a lot of products on your portfolio that you were sold by a bank? We're going to go through to make sure that your portfolio is properly diversified so you're protected against the next downturn and you own low cost, low fee investments that are going to help you get to your goals. Then finally, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and we're going to determine that age old question are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have been working on for literally over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't miss out. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your personal retirement. Our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. Of course, there's no plan. You don't text or call. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the bank's are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. For all the latest information and news that you need to retire successfully, make sure you go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. .com. .com. It's no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, as always, want to keep it simple for you. Common sense advice. That's what we try to bring every week or we strive for. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple three-part video series that gives you a baseline to start the retirement planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. You can check it out. It's a simple three-part series. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to know more about me and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Check out how great Bob's hair is, and it's real. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can even subscribe to a show up there and find out more about what we do here at Pain Capital Management. And you can catch me most weeks on CNBC Squawk Box or Fox Business News making regular appearances. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a great question, Bob and I will answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions this week, we're going to bring in our producer, the man behind the scenes, Mark Haywood. Good morning, Mark. What's shaking? Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, guys. I'm doing all right. I'll tell you what, though. I'm ready for this rain to depart. I'm ready for sun. I'm ready for summer. Nice frozen (laughs) lemonade, hot dog. Isn't that what New York's about in the summertime? Man, oh, man. I'll tell you what. I would eat a hot dog every day if the sun came out. (laughs) (laughs) And the end of your business would come quickly as your arteries clog. (laughs) Yeah, it's true. That's true. (laughs) Oh, boy. I digress. Well, we got some good questions in the mailbag this week. Let's take one from Martin in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. 
Martin writes in, Bob, we have the opportunity to refinance our house at a lower interest rate, but the problem is that it would be a 15-year mortgage and we only have five years left to pay now. We're 60 years old and the idea of still having a house payment until we're 75 seems like a bad idea. What do you think? Well, I can tell you, Martin, I think that's a really bad idea. You know, Rye, what happens in the last five years of a mortgage? Is there any interest left to pay? No, at that point, you're you're paying mainly principal. What a lot of us don't realize is it's the interest is front loaded. So you're paying the bank back at the beginning of the loan, and then you're just paying back principal essentially to yourself on the back end of the loan. Yeah, I'll get a question, a lot of questions about mortgages now that interest rates are not going down. So we're not seeing a lot of opportunities to reduce the rate, but you, you could see fixed mortgage rates that are now in the four and a half to five percent area. You know, really keeping your mortgage is kind of an interest rate decision. It's sort of a risk arbitrage, so to speak. What you say? That's right. Because I mean, if I look at some of the loans that are outstanding right now, uh, a lot of our clients have probably 30-year mortgages at three and a half percent, which is really cheap money. And I look at our municipal or tax-free bond portfolio now right now, Bob's paying like 4%. So if mm-hmm. I'm earning four tax-free and I'm borrowing a three, three and a half percent, let's say taxable, that's a pretty good what you would call arbitrage, it's probably better to pay off that loan slowly as opposed to quickly. Yeah, I think the thing is, and it really comes down to two things, right? Number one, can I get a better return on my money than what I'm paying the bank? And number two, how do I feel about debt? I mean, if it keeps you up at night worrying about the fact you have debt, you know what I recommend? Paying it off immediately. You know, right? that's the beauty of the 360 financial portal. I just did this yesterday. I modeled a portfolio for a client and we looked at their three and a quarter fixed rate mortgage and they're really great savers. They were paying down their mortgage a hundred grand a year. We decided to put that hundred thousand into their balanced portfolio, which has returned over seven percent a year. We're projecting five going forward, and we could pay it off at any time. So it's when you see it on the screen, when you see it in writing, when you see it in your own personal view, it makes those decisions so much easier. Well, the 360 portal is pretty awesome, if I don't say so myself, Bob. Just I mean, and again, with technology now, like why wouldn't you have one password where you can log in and view everything in one place? You know, that's kind of like the key to the power of financial planning now is being able to log in, seeing all your values up to date, day to day, and being able to sit in there and play what if, run financial planning scenarios based on, you know, what's going on with your financial life in real time. I mean, this is probably the first time in history we've been able to do that only in the last, you know, two years or so, Bob. I mean, before that, it was everything was by hand. You had to update everything by hand. But now, with the power of the 360 portal, it's like, bam, everything's right there. You can run projections on the fly. All right, guys, we have another question here from Billy in White Plains, New York. <laughs> Hope he doesn't get you on your soapbox here, Ryan. But <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> as Uh-oh. some tend to do at times. But uh, he <laughs> writes in, he says, Ryan, I have a variable annuity that seems to have a nice income guarantee associated with it. But I've heard several people say that variable annuities are usually a bad deal. What am I missing? Oh, boy. <laughs> Where do we start? Where do we start? First off, I never like to say something's good or bad. I think that's that's the wrong approach. It's just like what's appropriate, not appropriate. But I'd say a rule of thumb with most annuities, and again, there's lots of different annuities out there, is first off, the fees are probably relatively high. Variable annuities specifically are infamous for having very, very high fees. So I think the first thing you want to know about your annuity is what are the real costs? And a lot of times the salesman who sold you that annuity may tell you there's no cost involved, but that's probably not true. I know it's shocking, but (laughs) there are usually costs and you need to know what they are. That's number one. Number two, to get an income stream for life from an annuity, like anything in life, it's probably to get something, you need to give something up. And usually with an annuity, you have to give your principal up, which when you look at it that way, Bob, that can be very, very dangerous in retirement. Yeah, but you know what, Rye? Some of these annuities have a, a lifetime rider where if you start withdrawing or annuitize it, and, you, and depending on how long you live, you know that can be a good situation. But a lot of cases, you're going to have a you know set amount of payments, and you're basically going to get your own money back with really not a great return. So it's really there is no all or none solution. And I think if you're sitting there right now with an annuity, don't call the salesman. Call the insurance company. Ask them what the costs are. Ask them what you're paying every year. Find out what your rate of return has been and find out you know, what's going to happen to your money going forward. You know, It's about well, Bob, keeping your money, right? Not giving it to the insurance company. Well, Bob, my head's spinning and that's why you know, what we can do too is if, if you want to learn more about your annuity, we're, we actually, our financial advisors are trained to get on the phone with you and the actual insurance company themselves 
to get all the real details on how it works. And we actually built a couple calculators to figure out you know, what the real rate of return is, what that guaranteed income really looks like. Because a lot of times these insurance companies will throw out, you're getting a guaranteed 6 or 7%. It's not true. It's a fake 6 or 7%. <laughs> so you know, we can actually help you run those numbers as well. So if you need somewhere to turn to, again, go to the insurance company. And again, we have trained advisors that can help you figure out what your annuity really does or doesn't do. Well, you know, Ry, if, if you ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you? Man, what would you say? Man, I mean, most of us, let's be real, we're a three. We don't know where our stuff is. We're winging it. And if on a scale of one to 10, where would you like to be? Who wouldn't say 10? And if you'd like to be a 10 in terms of being financially organized, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers who've saved at least 200000 for retirement. We'll create for you our holistic 360 financial portal, which will allow you to put everything in one view. Now, this is not a monetary site. can't be hacked. It's something where you're going to be able to view all of your investments in real time and compare where you are to the goals and the dreams and the values of your family. And all you have to do is be one of our next few callers. Not only that, we're going to review your tax return. We're going to look at your legal docs. We want to be certain that none of our clients have an estate plan that's an IOU to the IRS. And more importantly, we want you to bring in all of your investment statements, bring in those annuities, those insurance policies, those bank accounts, those brokerage accounts. They're all coming in this week, right? The end of the month just happened. Let's throw them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone, text us, give us a call. We'll do all the heavy lifting. We'll take all that information, put it into one spreadsheet that will compare apples to apples and decide if you have the key three elements to a successful portfolio, diversification, fees, and income. We want to be diversified across asset classes, not just within asset classes. You don't want to overcharge yourself. Find out what you're paying. And lastly, let's fill that income gap. We're all going to need income, whether we're retired. And if we're retired, we want to stay retired. We need a lifetime of income we can't outlive. And finally, we're going to go and tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan. And we're going to answer that age old question for your family. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to 44 years. That's right. For the last four decades, We have been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with the highest odds of success and with as much certainty as only a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. We have a few slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I put together the most common sense, easy to access advice we can possibly give you on your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple three-part series, gives you a baseline to get the retirement planning process started. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can simply download it. Again, what you need to know about creating an income, you cannot outlive. It'll give you a simple baseline. At some point, you've gotta get the retirement planning process started. This gives you an easy way to do it. Simply text the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very, very special guest on the show for the second week in a row. We have our star financial advisor. We have Frankie Lagrateria, Frankie's financial friends, something we all want to be part of right here in the studio. Frankie, 
Man, oh man. How did I get so lucky to have you on the show two weeks in a row? I must have a really uh, boring uh, weekend. <laughs> I have a really bad uh, personal life. <laughs> no, it's an honor. Thank that, you for having hurt. me. That hurts, Frankie. That really hurts. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Your sarcasm, it, it, it hits deep. They say there's a lot of truth in all humor. <laughs> the funniest people are very honest. <laughs> Well, since you're on the show, because, again, you have a very vibrant social life, <laughs> and you want to hang out with Bob and Ryan all the time, why don't you tell us about the case that you worked on this last week? Give us some of the pointers and things you helped out with and some of the mistakes that were being made. Absolutely. So today's case is brought to you by liquidity. The interesting thing about this is it's a wow. mixture of a little bit too much liquidity versus not enough liquidity. When you say liquidity, that just means having money on hand or cash on hand. That's why we say about being liquid, right? We have a lot Absolutely. of cash. Absolutely. Your bank account is extremely liquid, whereas your house would take much longer to turn to cash. So right now they are sitting with, in their business accounts, and we see this a lot, I know me and you were talking about this the other day, Bob, about $500,000 in their business account. Earning nothing. Earning very little. And I understand a lot of these companies, they need that fast liquidity. You know, whether you're in a construction or electricity or plumbing, things where you'll, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but next week, maybe you need to drop 100000 on on a big project. Right. This team that I'm looking at, they have about $500,000 sitting in cash. They're getting about 0.25% in interest, which means every year they're making about $1,200, $1,250. Plus, is yeah. it insured? Yeah, only insured to a certain amount. They're not getting that full, you know, five hundred. Of course, it's about two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, a lot of people are in denial, Frankie. They think, uh, well, they can't. You know, this is a bank, local bank, can't go under. Well, just remember, I said that about Merrill Lynch when well, my stock went from ninety six down to two. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's uh, you never know, and you know, FDIC in our recent history has been tested, and that's why it's really, really critical that. You know, something that simple, you take care of it. Make sure that you've got the insurance on everything because when it comes to working capital specifically, like that's the last way you want to start losing money is just not making sure that everything's covered by the FDIC. Absolutely. So the way that we're going about this and how we're fixing this problem uh, by getting a little bit more interest on that dollar and keeping it safer is short-term CDs. So I know Bob and I are working on a, a portfolio for these people where in the next six months, to a year, we have CDs becoming due. If you put in, you know, less than two hundred and fifty thousand, it's insured, and you're getting more money on it. So right now, I just ran the numbers. If I say on five hundred thousand dollars, we can bump up their interest very easily to about one point five percent. You're looking at about one hundred and sixty-eight thousand compounded over twenty years, as opposed wow. to twenty. Yeah, and what happens if rates go up? Right? As, as these CDs come due, you can increase it into a higher interest rate. Exactly. As CDs come due, meaning they pay out, they pay you back your loan that you got them. You can just keep adding it back in. You can. Do you need the money? Take a look at. You know. Do you have a big expense coming up? Maybe you need it then, or you could just add it back into the ladder. You know, what I find surprising is most people don't know the difference between a local bank CD and CDs that trade in the open market. No matter what maturity you have in a bank, even if you have a a higher interest rate and rates go down, if you wanted to redeem that early, you got to pay an interest penalty. It only exists in the banking world. And any CD that trades in the open market, you can buy or sell it any day. There's no interest penalty. It's a made up bank rule to keep your money. It's 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 insidious. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You have more liquidity with what we call brokerage CDs uh, with the same FDIC insurance. So there's a lot of ways to be creative about your short-term cash with more safety, ironically, and better interest rates, especially now as rates are going up. But the banks, being stingy as they are, are not raising the interest rates on your savings and checking. So we definitely have some creative solutions around that. Now, kind of just moving over to the retirement side for this couple, it looks like not only are you able to help them with their working capital for their business, but we talk about filling in that retirement income gap, Frank. And if I'm reading this right, you wouldn't run their numbers on their portfolio and you're able to increase their income from literally 4000 a year to $43,000 a year just in cash flow. And then you're also taking them out of these high cost annuities, which means you're bumping up, you're lowering their fee and increasing their cash flow to more like $55,000 a year. That's insane. Absolutely. And then to my other point where I was saying, you know, 
liquidity too much versus not enough, these high cost annuities where you think that you're protecting your dollar, you're actually putting up these surrender charges a lot of the times where you can't get access to your capital. You can't get access to your money without paying surrender charges, without paying high annual fees. So by actually getting rid of some of these, by lowering their cost to something not absurd like 4% in fees, uh, <laughs> to uh, getting them some, some liquid bonds, some ETFs that trade on the market every day, we can increase their cash flow. We can increase their ability to get their cash. We can do a lot of things for them. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the, Frankie, I've always found that the model for success is you, if you cut your fees in half and double your income, that's a formula for success. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. a no-brainer. Double C, double yeah. S. You'll always have success. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing <laughs> like you point that. out there, too, Frank, you made a good point, is you may be sitting in an annuity right now where the back-end charges to get out are very high. It still might be the smart move as opposed to waiting for the back-end charges to go away because the fees every year are so high that by ripping the Band-Aid off, you actually make out better than waiting for the surrender period to go away, which a lot of us don't realize. So it's very, very beneficial. And I saw you did that for this couple to run that analysis. Yes, I did. You know, I, I ran an analysis. I was just working with a client the other day where they just couldn't overcome that uh, back-end charge. It was too hard mentally to swallow. So we're taking out 10% a year out of those investments, helping them to manage it while it's still in there, but taking out 10% a year without penalty. Absolutely. And you have to run those numbers because like you said, Bob, sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's worth it. Just rip off the Band-Aid. You know, for yeah. some of these annuities, I was taking a look, they're they're breaking even in less than two years. What is, uh, you know, what's Frank, two years? Ryan is the dean of common sense. And, you know, once you have the numbers in front of you, it's common sense. What's the right solution? I think it's kind of like annuity triage. <laughs> <laughs> like the damage has been done, but how can we uh, now, you know, essentially clean up the damage? And if you're thinking yeah. to yourself, I have some annuities that I need to figure out what to do with. I don't understand them. I don't get it. I need to figure out how to optimize the cash that I have. I need to get income for retirement. Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Frankie, if you want to be one of Frankie's financial friends, give us a call and we're going to run for you at no cost our total financial master plan. That's where you just bring in all your statements, put them in a folder. We'll go through everything. We're going to build you a personalized portal and we're going to do the full analysis. We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. What's your income gap? We're going to show you how to fill it by increasing the income, but not giving up liquidity and paying high fees like you may in an annuity, just saying. We're gonna look at diversification. Is your portfolio protected against the next downturn? We're gonna show you how to bulletproof your portfolio, and we're gonna look at all those fees. We're gonna look at the fees to get out of that annuity. We're gonna look at the ongoing cost that you're paying to be in some of these high cost mutual funds. We're gonna show you how to reduce all those costs. Then we're gonna tie it all together, and we're gonna answer the age old question, are you gonna outlive your money, or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've been working on for literally four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. You know, don't miss out. We have a few slots left. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved 200000 for your retirement, will create for you your own total financial masterpiece with no obligation, no cost, no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great, great show. And man, two weeks in a row, being one of Frankie's financial friends for a couple of minutes to enjoy <laughs> basking in her sunlight is like, it's as good as it gets, even though there's no sun outside. <laughs> sun hanging out with Frankie. Oh, thank you, Brian. I just, I just, <laughs> I <laughs> what, a, what, a lovely, what a lovely thing to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Almost poetic. <laughs> Big Bob, what's shaking for the rest of this uh, cloudy, sad weekend? I think what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to go out and search for the sun. I'm, I'm ready. It's got to be out there somewhere. <laughs> you go do that, Bob. <laughs> well, another great show, and as always, be bullish.
Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.